What's up guys? Hey, Riley Foster in the shop today. Wanted to show you a little product that I always work on and this is how to bend, well this is half inch bar stock, but I'm gonna show you how to bend rebar and uh, bar stock, cold bending this stuff. You see a lot of people on YouTube and they're using oxyacetylene torches and map gas. First of all, map gas you might as well use a big lighter. It is not going to heat this up hot enough to help. So using oxyacetylene to me is just a great big waste of money when you don't need it. So I'm going to show you how to bend that and get, well, fairly accurate bends on it. And they're really quick. So without going into too much more detail, this is 3 8 rebar. And I'm going to make sure, I'm going to put this on pause and make sure that I am on the rebar because I can't tell right now. So hold on one second. I am not. So here we go. Yes. Now what I'm going to do there, I'm going to show you how to bend this. You can make this little socket and you can make it any length. I chose six inches because I bend these. 12 inch pieces in half. And I lay this in my vise and tighten it up like this. I don't mark six inches on the rebar end, I mark it, or the middle, I mark it on the end, and all that does is keeps track of which end went into the socket. Now, simple, I use a half inch steel pipe, a little bit of tape on the handle so it doesn't cut up too bad. One quick bend out of the 45. And this, hey, this is not difficult. You don't see me straining. That's a ballpark 45. All of these come out close enough. I'm making legs for dragonflies. So I can bend every one of these and get them about close. And you can see there's no heat needed. and they go fairly quick. And again, the only marks is I just used a paint pen to mark the bottom so I can tell which one went into the socket. So, I'm gonna finish bending the rest of these off camera, because again, it's one of those if you can't figure out what I'm doing by now, that's pretty bad. So anyway, Half inch bar stock. I mark center because I always do. This is going to be an eight inch handle on a fire pit. You want some substantial steel on this. So when I line this red line up in my vise, that's four inches deep. So I'm going to set it off just a little bit. Now I go to the line on this side. And you got to dump some weight on this. I'm about 190 pounds. So what I want to do is I want to put here, drop straight down. That's a right angle. Now, if I bent this one online, it would be shorter than this. So what I wanna do is raise up a half inch because I'm bending half inch bar stock. So, you grab that like that, tap that over just a little bit. Drop your weight down there. Now, if it's crooked, you can see right there. Bring it here, drop down. Look at that. You can't beat that. That's a good handle. I'll cut off what I need to give me that. And these handles, you can use them for anything. So again, I'll show you. Up on four inches on that line, the first bend, you, you put on the line, drop straight down. I'm dumping 190 pounds of pull on it. And then again, obviously I can't get that in there, so I have to put it in like this. Half inch because of the thickness of the bar stock, and that's just guessing at it if you can't guess again, half inch. If you work in a shop, you know. Just drop that weight down. If it comes out crooked again, just like these do, sometimes I go a little bit past. Just grab it. Straighten that one, grab it, 
straighten that one. Now, if you were using oxyacetylene or map gas, you'd still be on the first one, wasting a lot of energy. When you're dealing with half inch rebar, now three eighths will break also on a crisp right angle or a sharp right angle. Now this, I'm just doing this to show you. If I choose to do a sharp right angle, there is a possibility this will break because rebar is, well, it's about mixed up as much frap steel as you put in something. So I cheat up the half inch, pull, nice right angle. Again, you don't need heat to bend this stuff. Now there's a little quick short video and you guys can tell me what you think. You got to watch these videos all the way to the end. You got to like and share before I get credit at YouTube. Put some comments down there. Thanks guys.